Welcome everybody. My name is Joseph Arnold, a violinist and Alexander Technique teacher. Aaron? And I am Aaron Beagleisen. I will be an Alexander Technique Alexander Technique teacher in a few months. I will eventually be able to say that as well. Um, and I'm a professional vocalist. Yeah, and we are uh, both uh, co-founders of the Soul Forest Music School. We're going to tell you a little bit about that in a bit. Um, but tonight we are going to be talking about how to stay motivated, how to get motivated to practice, uh, even if you have COVID fatigue as a musician. Especially if you have Especially COVID Especially if you have COVID fatigue. <laughs> because who doesn't? Who doesn't have yeah. COVID fatigue? Yeah, you know, the, the pandemic is finally lifting. But, you know, it's been a really hard time for musicians, right? Um, you know, there, <clears throat> there are just aren't any performers, performances to get prepared for. Um, you know, that's, that's always one of the biggest motivators for me. You know, if I have a performance or an audition or something that motivates me to practice, or if I'm just with people. Yeah. <clears throat> just being yeah, with people. Yeah. 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 Um, but of course we don't have any of this in the COVID times. So, yeah, we're going to be talking about motivation. We're going to give you some simple things you can do at home to really get inspired again, get inspired to practice. And in order to do that, we kind of need to take a step back first just so we can see the, the larger picture of what's going on in your life. And, uh, you know, yeah, before we do any of the, the how-to kind of stuff here. So, you know, Aaron, you know, there's, you know, of course, been an enormous amount of suffering um, in the, the pandemic. Um, mm -hmm. But there's a way in which you know, the pandemic has been kind of a, a reset button for me uh, yeah. in my uh, kind of reevaluating my values, my own vision for my life, my music. Has it been the same for you? Yeah, definitely. You know, it, it's funny. I uh, think about before the pandemic hit, I would sometimes daydream. I would Ooh. daydream about having having a month to just <laughs> be in be uh, in my own space and just like you know catch up on emails and just like yeah. just play an instrument and sing for myself. And <laughs> I got my wish. Careful what stuff. you wish for. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Um, yeah, and it's definitely been the same for me. I mean, it's, it's been hard. It's been really hard, but it, I, I have had, it's, it's a, been a deep reset time for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. So, so the big opportunity here for us as the pandemic ends, you know, as professional musicians is, and, and other people as well, uh, is to really be conscious about your intentions for your life going forward. And, uh, yeah, reevaluating your priorities. You know, do you really want to play mindless gigs, for instance? <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetical scenario. <laughs> yeah. <here. laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm not going to um, knock mindless gigs. I've played my share of them and... Uh, they've put a roof on my, over my head. <laughs> um, and yet, you know, that, that's not really the reason I got into music. You know, I bet you can relate to that, Aaron. Yeah, for sure. I, I think that there's uh, just a point. Uh, I, I was talking about this just today with a friend that um, basically we I, the mindset that I've been shifting from is what's practical, mm. what makes sense mm. to like what's beautiful, right? What what's possible? Yeah, and of course, like like you have to make rent and you have to feed yourself, and yeah. there's there's like elegance and nobility in that. Yeah. yeah, but but also like that shouldn't be the 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 only goal. That shouldn't yeah. be the only goal. Yeah, yeah, because our ideas about what's practical might be inherited from a culture mm -hmm. that doesn't. Uh, value beauty in addition to uh, the practicalities and it might it might d just get into one little narrow tunnel of possibilities for our lives you know, even if that's what everybody says is possible 
And so one invitation here is to include that question, what is beautiful? So you could do both together. You know, what if you could have both? A beautiful, inspiring life and pay your rent. <laughs> what if you could do both? There's a Venn diagram there, right? And we want to find that shared space, even if it is um, small. But we don't know. We don't actually know that yet. So, so yeah, so the possibility of having a richer, more fulfilling, artistic life, uh, one where you care for yourself more. You know, I've been hearing from musicians about how hard it is to make a living as a musician and how little time there is just for self-care, mm. right? And is that really the way you want to live, you know? <laughs> um, always, on the, always on the move, never stopping to take care of yourself. Mm. So you get to choose, right? You get to choose. This is your life, and this is a special time right now. This is a special time right now because things are still a little bit in limbo. It's a, limit, a liminal space. The pandemic is ending. It's not quite over yet, but it's ending. And you know, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. There are you know, performances coming, uh, you know, in-person teaching, ensembles, all kinds of things. I'm getting excited mm -hmm. just talking about it. Yeah, um, and the invitation today is to choose consciously to be intentional about how you go back to being a professional musician. Hmm. So basically, what you need to get motivated to practice when there aren't any gigs around and you have COVID fatigue is a new mission for yourself. Hmm. 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 Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so and, and so yeah, so uh, so a mission. So ju just to be clear, th this uh, a mission is something that lights you up it's not something that you use to it's not bribery and it's not browbeating yeah. so it's not like if i practice for every day for a month then i'll buy myself that like double <laughs> deluxe pizza that i'm right. i haven't been right. you know and it's really not like pizza, though. <laughs> it's a wonderful pizza you should just buy it just get it just get the pizza it's wonderful yeah <laughs> and it's the same thing it's it just, <clears throat> you're not doing this like oh well if, if i if i if i don't practice today then i can't go on facebook you know it's like that, that's not it. That's not it. The, the scope is too narrow and it's, it's not something you just think about. It's like, Oh, if I punish myself, well, think about how that makes you feel. Or wouldn't you rather instead have something that's like that, that makes you feel more open, more excited and more dedicated every day. Right. Right. Yeah. So Victor Frankl and also uh, Friedrich Nietzsche had a, a quote that I'd like to share here. He who has a why to live to live for, excuse me, can bear almost anyhow. He who has a why to live for can bear almost anyhow. And that, that's a, a little bit of a, you know, it comes from a, a dark place. Those two men uh, had very dark lives. But I really like what you're saying there, Aaron. You, you, you want a mission that lights you up. So it's not something that somebody else told you that you should do or what you think that you should do. It's something that comes from within. This is so important. It's got to be authentic to who you are or else you're not going to be motivated to practice. <laughs> if it's motivated by, by a should, it's not actually going to help. Yeah. So it's got to be motivated by what lights you up. So how do you create a mission statement? A vision plus an action is a mission statement. Nice. And we're going to take you through just a very brief little exercise. There's tons of work to do in this. It's very, very worthwhile. Uh, to spend time getting really clear on your mission. But we're just going to take you through this very briefly. So mm. get a pen and paper. And, you know, you can always listen back to this video later. Uh, but what you might do is close your eyes briefly and just notice yourself. Uh, in order for uh, a vision for your life to be authentic, you have to get out of the monkey mind for a moment. <laughs> You're not going to think your way out of this one. It has to come from um, your body, basically. <laughs> what your body says. <laughs> and we'll explain that. Um, so, yeah, getting in touch with your body, just noticing that you have a body, noticing any sensations in your body. So we are going to be discerning or inviting in 
uh, a vision, a vision for your life. You know, it's like if you could have anything that you wanted. Oh, and here's a little doggy. You get, you get anything that you wanted in your life for, for, for yourself as, you know, just as a person, but also as a musician, you know, what would that look like? And especially like, what kind of world do you want to create as a musician? Mm. That's, that's the real question. What kind mm, of world okay. do you want to create? And also, how do you want to feel? Yeah. How, does, how do you, how want, do you to want to feel? That's right. How do you want to feel as you're playing, as you're going to these gigs? How do you want to feel? Do you want to feel rushed or yeah. beaten down Beautiful. or frustrated? Right. Or do you want to feel hopeful? Do you want to feel full of energy and full yeah. of life? Yeah. And let that feeling be your guide as what as for what you want to write down. Right. Right. So if anything comes up right now, that's great. And if not, I would really recommend taking some time either later on this evening or tomorrow with your coffee. And just letting this percolate. What, what kind of world do you want to create, and how do you want to feel? How do, how do you want that to feel? Um, yeah. Do you want to say anything about skepticism there, Aaron, as well? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think we touched on it a little bit. I think, but, but if you notice, there are practical parts or skeptical parts of saying like, "Oh, well, you can do that. Like, this is the way right. life is." It's right. like. Well, I mean, yes, there's truth in that for yeah, sure. Yeah. And also, again, like you get to decide, you get to decide the direction that your life takes. The whole yeah. world is moving at a certain speed and you have agency. Yeah. So what quality of life do you want? What quality of life do you really want? What's underneath that skepticism? Um, yeah. And yeah. Is there a secret hope and a desire under that? Yeah. And then can you follow that? Yeah. All right. So a vision um, could be, you know, so for the Soul Force Music School, our vision is to create a world where the goodness, beauty, and sacredness of life is affirmed. That's the kind of world that we want to create. That's the kind of feeling that we want to have, that we do, uh, that, that motivates us. All right. So now you know, we have our vision and now action. So as you visualize this world, the world that you want to create through, um, yeah, w through your artistry, th through your music, uh, let's, let's envision what kind of actions, what kind of steps you can take. What do you actually do to bring that about? And, you know, this could be things that are specific to your creative process, to teaching, if you're a music teacher, performing, practicing, or even things outside of music. What do you do to bring about this world that you're envisioning? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and just to say um, that you can make these steps and actions as simple as possible. Right. If it feels impossible to you, Make the step as small as is actually possible to do. It can be the tiniest thing. It could be putting a flower on your music stand. <laughs> okay, it could be anything. Whatever's going to make you feel more alive and yeah. in service to the vision that comes up for you. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it can be something specific. It can be something more general. Hmm. The doggy is coming in and out of the room, so I'm just going to close the door. I'll be right back. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so, again, spend some time with that on your own, and then you can use this formula to create your mission statement. You can put the words, I create a blank, this is your vision, world by blank, this is your action. All right, or through this action. All right, so our, our full mission statement is to create a world where the beauty, goodness, and sacredness of life is affirmed by training musicians to embody soul force in their personal lives and creative processes. I get a good feeling from that. Me too. <laughs> and that's really important, right, Aaron? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's For me, it's the easiest indicator to know that I'm on the right track. That's right. So how do, it's like, okay, do I get a deep breath? Is my body lighting up? Okay, I'm on yeah. to something. 
Yeah, exactly, exactly. That is that is how you know. Uh, it's not going to be, oh, that's sick. <laughs> or, so oh, cool. that's, yeah, that seems very reasonable. <laughs> or, you know, that's in alignment with what parents, teachers, society thinks I should do. Yeah. Those are all thoughts and judgments that you're having. Uh, what we're looking for is this, to be lit up from inside. You there, there might actually have a sense of getting lighter inside yourself. Make you relax a little bit. You breathe a little bit more freely. There's a sense of, oh, yeah, that's it. That's <clears throat> what gets me going. <clears throat> and when you have that, then practicing is probably going to be a lot easier. Because now you have something to work towards. Just like an electrical circuit. You know, you can have the positive charge going in one side of the circuit, but without the negative charge on the other side, nothing's going to happen in the circuit. Mm. So you got to have something to work towards. you got to have something mm. to work towards, a goal. Mm. And that will bring you the motivation that you, that you seek. Mm. Let's yeah. see. Ah, so speaking of getting lit up from within, speaking of, of yeah, finding a space where you feel lighter, freer, breathing more deeply, uh, well, maybe we can talk a little bit about what is soul force? Yeah. We have the soul force music school and we wanted people to embody soul force. That's right. What is that? Soul force is a term coined by Mahatma Gandhi for his uh, movement to uh, liberate India from colonial rule through nonviolent means. And Martin Luther King and Nelson Mandela also used it to great effect. And the way we define it is that Soul force is that quality that arises in you when you meet life's challenges with courage, compassion, connection, curiosity, and even playfulness. Mm -hmm. And not only great civil rights leaders have soul force, but ordinary people can too. And of course, you know, some of the great musicians that we know and love gave performances that were just so electrifying, mm. so moving. Those are performances that have soul force. Those are performers who express soul force mm. in their mm. craft. Also, even like I'm sure that you, each of us probably who are musicians have had one teacher who's just been that teacher, right? Like they just, they love you, right? They love you or they show you something you you really, like you wanted to know this your whole life and they finally showed it to you. And yeah. so it's 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 not just performing, it's it's teaching in such a way where like your unique you-ness, the thing that you do best, whatever that is, it can be something super simple that's inherent to you, that you offer that in whatever aspect of your musical life and your life in general. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when you're really lit up and mm. you're still facing life's challenges, that's soul force. <laughs> all right. And and here's why this is also important. This, here's where it all comes together. So there's a colleague of Martin Luther King. His name was Howard Thurman. And he was very well known for this quote. Don't ask what the world needs. Ask instead what makes you come alive and then go do that. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. And the world really needs people who have come alive right now. The world really needs you to come alive in your life and in your art. And, you know, the, there's a really cool thing about this. It's not just that, you know, the world needs you, so you go and sacrifice yourself. But rather, the world needs what you need <laughs> in yeah. your life, what's going to feel great and inspiring mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. soul force. That's mm -hmm. being lit up with a mission. And when you do that, when you feel good about what you're doing, when you're highly motivated from inside, mm. that is what the world needs. Mm. 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 You know, it, and if, if 
saving the rainforests or saving the whales or feeding uh, hungry people or um, you know, solving injustices is what brings you alive, then you should go do that. But uh, music can be something that helps the world if it also brings you alive at the same time, to the extent that, let's say, to the extent that it brings you alive. So this is why we have this quote, our, our tagline, so to speak, which is the world needs your soul force. Just take that in for a moment. The world needs your soul force. So what are you going to do about that? <laughs> <laughs> you're just going to go back to playing brainless, soulless gigs. And again, no, no judgment, right? right like right. we're all doing what we can as artists to yeah, make ends that's, meet. That's right. And, and I, I should, right. I should reframe that. It's not that the, the gigs themselves are a problem. It's how you go about doing them that makes it brainless or soulless. And sure, you know, playing a cocktail hour for a bunch of people who aren't listening is not very much fun. But you can still bring your beautiful self to that experience, and that will make it easier. And it might even touch somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Who's there. Yeah. And, and also that this process that, that we've been working on it's actually pretty easy. It's mm. pretty easy. It's pr it's pretty easy, honestly, to to have your mu music ex musical experience change from something that is like just drudgery, just yeah. something. It's like yeah. soulless to something that makes you feel good, even yeah. when you're playing at a cocktail hour for people yeah. who are not listening. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Good. So we're gonna wrap things up here in just a moment. Um, yeah, two maybe final little thoughts here. So first, just visualize, even if you don't have a mission statement right now, visualize what it would be like if you really felt lit up about your uh, musical life. Uh, if you embodied soul force, whatever that would mean for you. Just take a moment and what would that feel like to be so inspired and motivated that you know, the decision to practice is easy. It's like, of course I want to do that. I have something big I want to do. Yeah. And then finally, if any of this spoke to you, if you know these kinds of challenges and solutions are hitting the nail on the head for what's going on in your life, then uh, we invite you to get in touch with us. We're putting together a whole series of offerings, courses and eBooks, and maybe even an app and all kinds of things. We don't really know mm -hmm. the full extent of it yet, but uh, we'd love to hear from you and hear what's going on in your life and maybe see if we can, um, yeah, support you in yeah. that so you can yeah. live life on your own terms again yeah i mean for, for us like our mission is training musicians to embody soul force yeah. in their personal lives and their creative processes yeah and that can look a bunch of different ways um and a lot of our basic offerings don't cost any money <laughs> so <laughs> so the very the simple stuff right so it's like yeah. w wherever you are and you feel like this really has touched something within you yeah. Just reach out and we'll yeah. do our best to help you. Beautiful. All right. Anything else, Aaron? Um, no, it's wonderful to be on here. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. All right. We're going to be doing some more talks like this, so stay tuned. And yeah, we'll see you soon. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>